Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Pandos eyeshadows update for April. This is the first update that I don't have any new pants to show you guys. But that's okay. I'm fine. I really like my color story right now. And I forgot a palette. So let me go grab that one. <laughs> I knew I was missing something. <laughs> if you don't know Pandora's eyeshadows, I'm pretty sure you do. Because it's really, 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 really popular and really fun. So I don't blame people, <laughs> including myself. This is my first year doing it. But it is created by Alexandra. She's from Sweden and she is so nice. And it would be so awesome to meet her because I live in Denmark and it's really not that far away. <laughs> but we are working on five eyeshadow at a time, at least that is what I do. We hit pan on a shade and then we roll it out and roll in a new shade to work on. And I have some rules down below. I have deleted one of them, which were the pigment glitter that I wanted to focus on each month. I just don't do it. I, 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 <laughs> I just don't. Being a mom, a new mom. It is exhausting, so I don't wear makeup that much, and if I do, I wear my Pandos eyeshadows or Panda palette mostly. I rarely play around, because I don't wear makeup daily at all. I really want to though, I really want to, because she naturally is in a good rhythm, that maybe I can prioritize that a little bit more. But we are here for the shadows. Not an update on my life. <laughs> As I said earlier, I don't have any new pants to show you guys. There are two shades that I haven't used at all this month. I will share those with you guys first. And they come from these two palettes. And one of them you might think, hmm. Maybe you should start work on that shadow. And the other one, why? It's so easy. I know. My Morphe palette. I want to have a Morphe palette in here at all times and only one at a time because I get overwhelmed very easily. And I try to go easy on myself this year and it seems to work. So I am working on the 35OM palette and I got randomly that shadow right there. And again, I have not used it since maybe the first update. The other shade that I rolled in last time that I haven't used this month at all, it is the MDK, MDK Gwen Stefani palette. And I got the shade Stark, that shade right there. And this is the shade that is so easy, why don't you work on it? I forget it. I don't remember using it. Last time I got the Hasina palette from Blush Tribe that unfortunately is not around anymore she created a new brand basically i have not tried that yet but i'm really really curious because i liked blush tribe a lot well i do still but they're not around but i got the hasina palette and i got layla this yellow shade right here it is absolutely stunning and if you look closely it was maybe touched once last time prior to the project and now you can see that I have the smallest dip and yeah there is a reason for that because I'm actually really bummed about this. I'm working on this cream to powder eyeshadow from Neil Shore. It's like a soft coppery eyeshadow that I thought was a great base for this shadow. Nope. Not at all. I will insert a picture here where I have soft copper, the cream to powder eyeshadow on underneath one eye and the other eye I have a glitter glue underneath. You can decide which one you prefer and which one is more true to color. So I have to use a glitter glue with this and I don't mind that at all and that is a goal of mine only to have a glitter glue as a base for shadows but just the thought that I have to use a glitter glue to have it to turn up yellow I was really disappointed. When that is being said, I love how it looks on, the, on top of a glitter glue. So, because I have played around with two different bases, I have layered it with the two bases on my eyes the two, three times that I have used this. So that is why the dip 
is beginning to show after that few uses because I use it a lot per eye look because I have been playing around. I have finally used this. <laughs> Maybe I have used it two times since the last update. The dip is getting bigger for sure. And a goal for next time is definitely to hit pen on this one. This is the W7, the Naughty 9 Bangkok Nights palette. I'm really excited to have this big of a dip and there's a good chance that I can hit pen on it by next update and I will. This month I have been playing around with the palettes itself. Then we have this one. This is the last shadow in this project but the one that I have used the most and there are no pen. There's no pen. I'm very very bummed about it because I really thought I could knock it out of the park this month but yeah I don't think so. Maybe I only up to like 15 maybe not even not even. So it will be here for a long time if I I just need to start wearing makeup more often. Otherwise I should just change my rules to like 20 uses. Maybe I will. 30 is just too many because I under, underestimated how much makeup I would wear. Mm. New rules. They will be down below. I am definitely removing the pigment glitter one every month because I just don't wear it. And maybe the usage goal is going to be changed as well. Otherwise I will only have one dark shadow at a time. That is why I'm really focusing on this, this palette <laughs> um, to knock it out. It will all be down below where you can go update yourself on my rules. I don't want to talk about it that much. So let's talk my eyeshadow pan percentage this month. It has only changed a little bit because I only have a bonus pan to share with you guys from my Panda palette. I don't have any pens obviously in this project for this month. My bonus pan for this month is in my green shade in my Panda palette. There. There you can see it. And maybe by next month these will, these will be done uh, or gone next month. So that will be a little bit of a jump right there in the percentage as well but for this month it is only changed by one pan for March I had 42 pans out of 499 shadows aka 8.42 percent and for this month I have 43 shadows out of 499 shadows which is 8.62 percent I think that is really good I really hope I can jump it up or get it up to at least 45, maybe for 46. That would be really, really cool. Let me go through the looks that I have for this month. The first look that I did this month was from my Hasina palette, which I only used the yellow shade um, from this project, Layla, on my eyelid. Other than that, I used Amara, the red shade, and Jihan. Jihan, the orange in my crease. Um, yeah, did I only use two, three shades? I think I did. And then I used some Panda palette shades for the rest of them. Um, so that is the first look that I did this month. The first green look that I did. Um, the only shade from this project that I'm using in this look is actually Layla, the yellow shade as well. Then I just think it is Panda palette shades. In the other green look, I am wearing this purple shade on my eyelid or in the inner part of my eyelid. Then it's just Pando Panda Palette shades. I totally forgot this look, but I used the Maybelline eyeshadow in my outer corner for this look and I have done this look a few times, only replacing Marvel Pan with the lid shade on in this look. This month went by so fast. Oh yeah, I wore Layla again, so three times. <laughs> In this look, I wore Layla again all over the lid. And I wore the Maybelline shade in my outer corner. And I do think I wore the, out the Maybelline outer corner shade a few times in the green looks as well. And then the all purple look, I used the Bangkok Nights uh, light shimmer shade all, all over my eyelid. And the other shades in my outer corner and stuff like that. So I only use that one in this look. And then we have the look that I have on today. 
which only incorporates the Maybelline shadow in my outer corner but I have done this look a lot the past few months so that is kind of a panning look for me if you want to see it in a video please let me know down below I will gladly do it if you have any questions for any of the looks please please let me know down below in the comments I will get back to you as soon as I can I'm excited to see where my stats and my shadows are next month hopefully I'm doing better I try to be better at wearing makeup so, I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please check out my other videos on my channel. I do a lot of panning videos. I have just uploaded and filmed my panda palette update. I am going to film my pie panning everything update and maybe my whole collection. Let's see how much I can do. Natalie is sleeping. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. And you are going to take care until my next video.